idea, and I don't think anyone is or should be happy about this idea, but basically, it all comes down to this, alright? Honestly, I wouldn't have even cared that much about them adding in supplies. Alright, what's going on boys? It's Rast, and we're out here on some ground war. But it's a uh, it's a 5v3 right now, so let's turn this down a bit, which is a bit annoying. I mean, this is basically a shittier version of 6v6. It's a 5v3, but I've been playing Ground War all day long. It's been growing on me. I used to hate it. I don't like it more than 6v6, but it's a really nice change of pace. But I've just been getting pounded. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave this lobby. I've just been getting pounded in these Ground War lobbies, like absolutely dick like oh my god i've been slapped with every meat dabbled from every culture i've been getting dick from people from congo from india from china from america south america dude i've just been getting absolutely dick so we're gonna try to find a decent fucking lobby as you can see level 110 pretty proud of that it just threw me in the same game i'm pretty sure did it really just throw me? I want to play this map so bad for domination. You know what? They should actually put a hard point game mode in ground war. But uh, the grenade spam, it's already bad enough. So I don't know. That would be pretty fucking horrid. That would be absolutely horrible. That'd be really, really fucked up. That I would probably go to bed having nightmares. Oh, great. They put me on the shitty team. So uh, yeah. As much as I'd like to, to stay and get pounded, I think we're gonna go into 6v6 TDM. <laughs> oh my goodness. Call of Duty War 2 version of Liam Neeson out here on the loading screen, so thank you for that. Uh, why are there Division XPs? But I'm gonna show you the class I'm working with right now. Let me get it. It's uh, this class right here. Where is it at? Wait, what the hell? I don't even know what. Resistance class. So I'm gonna use this a bit just because it's basically. I don't know. It's more of like a pistol class before, and now it's like the perfect snipe. Dude, if this is not a 6v6, I will throw up. I want to play this map because this is honestly my favorite map in the game, but if, if this is not a 6v6, I will literally throw up. Okay, hasn't even started. Okay, 6v5, that's fine. But yeah, I'm using this because I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, you know, how important is hustle? Because I know flak jacket is really important. And you, can, you can like disable the scrambler and indicator, which I'm not going to do. Uh, just because I would dis disable Scrambler if you didn't have to disable the indicator with it, but this is a really nice teammate. You may shoot at him, okay? This is a really nice class. I mean, the reload's kind of really, really, really slow, so obviously I'm not a fan of that. But, you know, how important is the reload while sniping, you know what I mean? So it's not the biggest deal in the world. Hold up. Ooh. This is my first game on in a couple of uh, hours. I was playing Fortnite with my cousin Alec, because you know how we do. We uh, kept getting destroyed, top two, but uh. Had to get that hunker out. Ah, uh, why were you there? Why were you there? No one is ever there, literally. It's like the weirdest place to go, and he had a bouncing Betty. Speaking of bouncing Bettys, they are so overpowered. I'll have hunkered on and I will still die by a single bouncy Betty. I don't know what it is, dude. Flak jacket in this game is so fucking bad. It's insane how bad flak jacket is. I hate this staircase. I like I like uh, pushing it, but dude, people just camp up there all day, all day long. For some reason, I'm not I'm not getting an indicator of these, bruh. Sit the. Don't you ever do that. Please, I want him to apologize and think about what the fuck he just did. Bruh, how many of these can there, can there be for real, though? That is, what's that? Like, this, oh my god, dude. Like, they are actually insane, dude. This is incredible. Not a lot of people are complaining about Flak Jacket, which is insane to me, because it really is so underpowered in this game. It is fucking horrible. Now, it's not like an MW2-type Flak Jacket. Like, it's actually, you know, it's useful, but it's still underpowered, if that makes any sense. Dude, like, I'll destroy it. My biggest problems with this game right now is how many head glitches there are. 
the LMGs, the assault rifle damage, how strong flak jacket is, and the fact that you can stack bouncing Bettys, that's just, it shouldn't be a thing. They are almost impossible to evade. I'm pretty sure if you prone, you'll still get hit by them. You have to just get lucky by the placement of them to where you can out, basically outrun them, like get away from them. Like, how did I not see him? Wait, did you all see him? I didn't see him. Bruh, come on, dude. That would never happen to me. That's never happened to me, literally. But those are, like, some of the biggest problems I had. Like, there are so many LMGs. Like, LMGs should not be able to rule on a map like Shimmit. And they really do because of how many head glitches there are. I mean, just look at this. Head glitch. Where, where else is some? Head glitch. Head glitch. Head glitch. Head glitch. Look at that. He's using it as a head glitch right now. Like, look at this. There's just so many unnecessary head glitches. And I've been thinking of map layout that's basically make corner camping impossible. They could put like a little like round like cylinder thing in each corner. That would basically make it really hard to sit in a corner, which I would love that. But apparently I have a brain and you know Activision fucking doesn't. They're just a bunch of retards getting paid for for lord knows what. But the more and more these BO4 leaks come out, the more and more it's like, you know what, these are probably not accurate. Because honestly, it just would be the dumbest thing I've ever heard of if it were accurate. Like, I, it, I make it, I mean, okay, first things first. Weapons and supply drops without salvage, that's a pretty dumb fucking thing to do. Pistol grips and supply drops, that's a stupid fucking thing to do. But Overwatch Call of Duty hybrid, that's the dumb, literally, you have to be borderline retarded to do that. I do not think that a company that was involved of the making of Black Ops 2 is dumb enough to do that. It's just... It doesn't, it doesn't resonate with me, but I believe there, it's just impossible for someone to be that fucking stupid. I don't know, I don't know, these are the same people that came out with Infinite Warfare, so I don't know. I really do not know. This, okay, look at this. This gun right here, it shreds. Why is this in the game? Like, is this a, like, looking at this, and you saw how it just performed, is this an SMG or is it an assault rifle? Is it a SMG or an assault rifle? I really want to know. Okay, yeah, fuck you. It's just, it's so, such a good weapon. It's only a four shot. It'll put bullets into you so fast. Like, those four shots will literally, I, I swear to God, I'm like, someone hits me with that. I'm like, damn, that guy, he's a pretty good sniper. I see this fucked up name in the kill feed. I'm like, well, what the fuck is this? We're going to 360 no scope him. Aww. Actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and get fucked up. Speaking of no scopes. I was playing Advanced Warfare the other day, a couple days ago, playing some Free For All because it is a blessing in that game. And, uh, dude, it was so fun, and I hit my first trick. It was just like a 720 or some shit, so it wasn't incredible. I didn't even save it, but I did save it, but then I deleted it the other day because I had no point for it because it was like a barrel stuff, which was... I was happy just because I've never hit a trick shot before, so... Bruh. Like, how? Like, uh, did he just teabag me? Like, the flow of this map is so fucking poor, it's insane. Like, I've never played a map that has so less flow. Like, look at that! Look, is this flow? Like, how is this flow full? God, dude, this map is literally, oh my god, it's so fucking bad, dude. And it's a wonder how this thing hasn't been nerfed yet. A two-shot that shoots that fast. It is just insane, and they're always on a head glitch, too. No, oh, yep, great. I do miss my tack mask, though. I do miss the armor division because of pussies like that. The flow of this map is so insanely bad. It just baffles me that people actually enjoy this map and think this is the best map in the game. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Optic Sprat. Dude, this class is awesome. Honestly, if you haven't given this resistance class a chance, I would recommend it. Because it is seriously good. Like, it is really fun to use. And I, I like getting, like, you know, sit here flash 24 7. Because whenever I use them, they don't even work on anybody. What, we we got unlimited clips, apparently. Look at this shit. I always die by the last bullet of the mag. I always do that. Like, my little fucking brain, my tiny minuscule brain can't comprehend. Don't go out there because he's not going to stop shooting. Because I hear it. And I'm already getting aggravated. I'm like, yeah, he's not done shooting. Don't go out there. But I'm just uh, I'm so prideful. I'm like, you know what? This asshole ain't going to do that. That's why I try to play in like a really respectful manner. As I pick up a piece, keep. You see that head glitch? You see that head glitch, don't you? You see that head glitch, don't you? Yeah, that's real flowful. Yeah, real flowful. That's just, okay. So, in the recent CODs, I've seen this whole trend. Honestly, I've cracked the code. 
What Shark and Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer are doing, they're basically in a competition not to see who can make a better Call of Duty. Who can put more fucking head glitches on a fucking map? Because it's definitely, right now, Sledgehammer, you, you take the cake, okay? So whenever Black Ops 4, I'm expecting these huge battlefield open maps. Just clean battlefields of just head glitches. Like, you remember in gym class, when you would play a game, it'd be like, you know, you'd call it like elimination or maybe like some iteration of dodgeball. Where it's basically just you hiding behind like a bunch of head glitches and mats and walls and shit. Trying to take the other people out. That's what this game is. We're in fucking gym class every single time we play this fucking game. Which is crazy, because whenever I was in gym class, I actually had fun, and there was actually really fun flow to it. Hey, maybe that's because I'm an athletic specimen, and I was just fucking people up left and right, but this is just insane, dude. Like, I don't want to be in gym class whenever I play this. I, I want to be in my own little virtual reality, playing fucking Call of Duty. I don't want to play Elimination or Dodgeball Elimination, whatever the fuck, I forget what it was called. I want to play Call of Duty. I mean, is that so hard to ask? First week of BO3 and you're like, you know what? This is Titanfall, but you know what? I'll live with it. And now it's like, you know what? Now we're just in gym class 24-7. It's third period all over again. This is fucking retarded. Ooh, ho, ho. I was going to clip the fuck out of them. Just know that. Ooh. All right. Should have been a collat right here. Just so we know this shit. I, yeah, that, that should have been a collab, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later. Peace.